of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Everyone at home. Do you have an extra agenda? <laughs> I just want to make sure it's in my notes. Thanks, Andre. Sorry. <laughs> uh, just all the public comment. Anything? Thank hmm? you. No, you're the only one out there that, uh, besides Gary. Okay, I have the minutes of the meeting on November the 14th at which Councilman Sullivan, Councilman King, let me see, yeah, Councilman Yeager was here and Councilman DeWitt was absent. So I'll ask for a motion to uh, approve the minutes of November the 14th. Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, the minutes of November 7th. Councilman Sullivan, Councilman DeWitt, and uh, Councilman King was absent. So ask for a motion to uh, approve the minutes of November the 7th. Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. So carried. We um, tabled King, those. Are you abstaining? Who? Oh. Is Councilmember King abstaining? He wasn't here. He wasn't here. Yeah. So I need to do something? <laughs> no, I just need to not know. Okay, got it. You're abstaining. I guess I technically should have abstained from the meeting. So because I wasn't here. For I abstained. The meeting. Okay. <laughs> Absent, this means you're not abstain. taking that's, right. that's, that's pretty close. I'm just eh? not winning. Absent, there was anything abstain. needed. No, I know. <laughs> anyway, we have the minutes of October the 31st, uh, at which Councilman Sullivan, Councilman DeWitt, and Councilman King was absent. Do I have a motion to approve the minutes? Motion. motion. Oh. Abstain. Second. <laughs> so, so, all in favor? Aye. So carried. Thank you. And finally, the minutes of October the 24th. Uh, Richard, Councilman Sullivan, Councilman DeWitt, and Councilman King was uh, absent. You sure? Yeah. Uh, we'll check, it, right we'll check the videotape. And uh, <laughs> I have a motion to approve the minutes? I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Okay. <clears throat> Communications, letters, et cetera, et cetera. I just got off of my computer today that Wednesday, November the 30th, and I, by the way, I sent this to the town board from 6.30 to 8.30 uh, on uh, Zoom. The community volunteers serving on a municipal Conservation Advis Advisory Councils play an important role across the Hudson Valley by advising local officials on matters related to the environment. Uh, this round table offers a forum for the CAC members in Orange County to share success and learn about the conservation efforts from neighboring communities. And I'm going to give you this. Right, actually I sent this to you. I'm aware. I'm aware. You're aware of it? Okay. So uh, this is a, a, a round table. If anybody uh, wants to sit home and watch it on, uh, or, or uh, take part of it, and it uh, on a Wednesday night is impossible for me. What time does it start? Well, I, 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 I sent this to you. Okay. But, uh, just curious. I'm 630 to 830. Thank you. Yeah. I received a, a reminder or a second letter from a resident on Mine Road uh, complaining about the uh, streetlights that uh, are 
shining in his window at the house, um, I wrote a letter to, uh, and I enclosed a copy of his letter, and I wrote a letter to Orange and Rockland. Uh, what, what was that district, uh, June, remember? I the lighting district? No, uh, Neil Winter, director of oh. uh, community affairs, Arms and Rock Utilities. I, I sent a, a letter to him asking him to do something about it. I enclosed, enclosed a letter from the resident, and I also sent the resident my, my letter to uh, Orange and Rockland, just so we all know that that's being taken care of as best I can. I can't put their hand behind the back and <coughs> break their arm. A letter from uh, the Town of Highlands Historical Society is asking for your support and membership. Um, be an individual member, it's 12 bucks. Family, $15. Sponsor, $100 a year. Uh, patron, $200 a year. And benefactor, $500 a year. Um, if I didn't send this to everybody, I'll put a copy of this in your box. But that's... Um, Stella Bailey, I think, is the president of that, or she's she's still involved. She's still involved, but Ronnie Coffey is the president. Pardon me? She's still involved, but Ronnie is the president. Ronnie is the president, okay, and, and of course, Ronnie is our uh, uh, historian. And our first meeting of December, uh, Ronnie asked if she could come and give us a, a five-minute um, talk on uh, the anniversary of the town of Highlands and she said she's going to bring cake. Nice. <laughs> it, it'll be five minutes if we don't let Richie get involved with her. <laughs> Did you bring pie? Okay. Uh, I transferred $67,844 from the consolidated account to the accounts payable to cover this week's check run. The larger items were uh, $4,888 for a single stream recycling and beacon. Uh, for diesel fuel, $6,451. O&R utilities, $5,199. Uh, legal fees, $8,970. Rockland County solid waste, uh, $12,688. That number's kind of off, but it's still $12,600. Uh, comp Alliance for uh, <coughs> the Workman's Comp, $4,036. And there were two wire transfers for New York State and local uh, employee retirement. One of the transfers was $167,477. And for the police and fire, uh, $77,714. Are there any questions on those? No. All right, I got a whole page full of uh, budget transfers. And as we've done in the past, it's, see, Justin's looking down at his paper because he doesn't like me to do love, that. Love the way you do it. It's <laughs> fine. You'll read okay. them and see if you have any questions. Okay. At the end of this, any questions? And then we'll approve it. Uh, from controllers contractual to controller equipment, $1,260 for the new desks. Assessor revile expenses to assessor legal action, $2,000 for appraisal for USAA tax certiorari. Town hall other expenses to town, uh, to town clerk training, $300. They were short, or she was short on the funds for the regional meeting. IT equipment to IT contractual, $3,000. IT contractual is over budget. Dog control personal services to dog control other expenses, $200 for repairs at the dog pound. Building consultants to building equipment, $6,700 for that scanner he's got down in his office. Building consultants 
to building other expenses, $1,100. Uh, other expenses were over budget. Dial a bus contractual to dial a bus vehicle maintenance, $694.92. Bus needs tires immediately. Dial a bus insurance to dial a bus vehicle maintenance, $68. Bus needs tires immediately. Parks, buildings, and grounds personnel to parks, buildings, and ground part-time employment employees, $55 over budget. Contingent account, sanitation personal services, uh, contingent account to sanitation personal services, $14,800 for highway employees working sanitation. Highway superintendent equipment to Sanitation personal services, $13,120 for highway employees working sanitation. Highway training to sanitation personal service, $1,466 for highway employees working sanitation. Uh, parks, buildings, and grounds personal service to sanitation fuel, $8,433. Uh, increased cost of fuel. Parks, buildings, and grounds personnel services, park repairs, $1,170 water fountain. Rope Park Pool contractual, Rope Park Pool personal services, $1,598 lifeguard payroll over budget. Long Pond contractual to Rope Park Pool personal services, uh, lifeguard, uh, that was $1,293 $1, lifeguard payroll over budget. Long Pond Contractual uh, Recreation, other expenses, $792. Other expenses were over budget. Ambulance Training to Ambulance Fuel, fuel $2,600 increased cost of fuel. Ambulance administrative supplies, uh, ambulance building and sp billing expenses, 3000 billing higher than budgeted. Town hall renovations to town hall contractual, $2,000 for new custodial services. Town hall other to town hall contractual, $1,000 new custodial services. Town Hall Utilities to Town Hall Contractual, New Custodial Services, there was a thousand. Town Hall Renovations to Town Clerk Printing, $100 more printing than anticipated. And Light District Fund Balance to Light District Legal Expenses, $6,120 legal expenses where it was not budgeted. Sewer Fund Balance, to sewer utilities, 15,000 utilities over budget. Sewer fund balance to sewer contractual, 10,000 uh, contractual over budget. Uh, that was for TAN. Sewer fund balance to sewer debt principal, $7,320 bond payment under budgeted. Sewer fund balance to sewer interest payment, $13,661. Interest payment was under budgeted. <coughs> uh, ambulance revenue to ambulance supply, <coughs> 5,000 supplies are over budget. Summer playground revenue to recreation program supplies, $3,250 supplies over budget. Any questions? No questions. One, one question that no, one, no one's going to ask. Um, for your information, the highway employees working sanitation. Uh, I, 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 in the past, we haven't done that. Have no, we? that's new. This okay. Year. As you know, the highway personnel are pay, paid out of the DB fund, and the uh, sanitation is out of the A fund. Well, when we have people working from the DB fund and working for sanitation, it's kind of not f fair, if that's the right word, for the people in, uh, outside of the village to be only paying for that. 
So we started uh, putting those uh, costs into the A fund, uh, which is the fairest thing to do. I mean, quite am I explaining the matter right? That yeah, makes sense. So I'll ask for a motion to. Uh, not, not any further questions? Uh, and the, 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 the cross labor is because of what vacation time coverage, et cetera. People sound sick. Yeah, they basic call, stuff. Sick. Yeah. Yeah, for, yeah, they call in sick. They want to go on vacation and stuff like that. Okay. Because basically the sanitation department works with exactly the right number of people they need. Take one out, somebody's got to replace them. Right. All right, I ask for a motion to approve the budget transfers. Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Board liaisons and department heads. That is needed. We'll start with Councilman Sullivan. Thank you. I'm not too long winded tonight. <clears throat> so the uh, Zoning Board of Appeals. I say this every meeting meets on the third Wednesday of the month did not meet in November at our next meeting if they're going to meet in December I will let people know and they've been meeting here not virtual here planning board Matt I could not make that meeting I know they had a lot line change in front of them in the village of Highland Falls uh, I don't think they had too much else at that meeting if they did Justin could enlighten us on that and uh, in the building department, um, the report for October, I read it off at the last meeting. They have a few ongoing projects with a few issues. I know a recent sale resulted in a stop work order because trees were being cleared. And I believe there is planning board approval needed because as our law is written, depending on the uh, diameter breast height of the tree and the number of trees you're cutting, once you exceed that, it goes to the planning board as per is that our erosion law, Justin? Yep. Yep. So erosion there was a control. stop work order issued at a, a place in Fort Montgomery. They have to go to the planning board. Um, sewer. Lankin Tully uh, completed the, complimented the town for our overall order of operations for the sewer district in regard to the EPA letter of noncompliance. I think Bob saw it, everybody did. The necessary responses are being addressed. There's, I think there's some December responses and some later. Dawn at Lankin Tully is spearheading that, and so I think that's well in the works, and I don't expect any major trauma out of that. Water. I see Gary's here, so this just might make him smile. The uh, I told Gary when he came on board he wouldn't have to worry a thing about water, and it's probably 90% of his time. But uh, <laughs> uh, finally, this Thursday morning, those involved with water, Kelly, Justin, Gary, John O'Rourke, and Roy Roisling is his name from JCO, uh, and a few other people will meet at town hall, and we'll get the ball rolling on the things we need to do in Water District 1 and Water District 2 with radio reeds with the trimble, which uh, may need to be replaced, or just an overall look at are we gonna continue with cellular, knowing that 97 of them currently aren't reading, and that has to be addressed. We have a bunch of inventory things we have to go over. So this would be a total look at the whole thing and move forward from there. I'm looking very much forward to that meeting. 8.30 Thursday mornings when they're coming. Question, how many people do you have coming and can they fit in my office? If not, I want to say doesn't have to be here. Tiffany and Leslie, although they're involved in it. We need Kelly, yourself, myself, Gary, Roy Reising, John O'Rourke, and Justin. If we have to do it up here, is there is there court on I, Thursday I, morning? I'm not even no, not okay. that early, not that early. I was just okay. going to set it up up here. But you know how I am. Rather than making 115 phone calls, I'd rather everybody just be together and do what we got to do. So Thursday okay. morning, 8:30. Yeah, yeah. We'll try it in my office. Then. Thank ahead. you. And um, oh, oh, the only other thing I want to say is I'll need some help on this. So there's these wonderful things happening, this holiday hop, all these things happening on December 3rd are fantastic. What I want to say is back in February, we had a skating party at Garrison Pond, which kind of um, indirectly kicked off the town being 150 years old this year. 
And we had the open house for the churches. I think there were nine of them that we went to back in, I don't know if it was May or June. I'm not sure when that was. We had the pub crawl. Uh, I know Ronnie Coffey has had some presentations. She's made at the library. She had the float in the 4th of July parade. This holiday hop happens to fall on the very day when the town will be 150 years old. I wish I had time to do something to put a banner up or something like that. Just letting people know that I'm glad it falls on that day. It looks like a very festive event. And that's it. Oh, okay. Thank you. Councilman King. <clears throat> good evening, everyone. And good evening, everyone at home. <clears throat> First, let me address again the noted absences of Councilman King. I need to make this point just because uh, for the public, I want you to be aware that uh, I take this position very seriously. So anytime I'm out of town, what I normally do is get back here for a meeting. But in the case of the three weeks that was noted, I mentioned this before, my mother was extremely ill, and as her s oldest child and her caretaker, I was there by her side. So that is that. Going forward, we want to talk about a few things tonight. One is senior residents. Uh, the senior residents, uh, in particular, the group called the Highlanders, appears to be back. When I say back, it's only because of uh, some COVID concerns and some other uh, challenges that they had to take a break. But I talked to the leadership and that uh, organization is now planning to start bingo back up mm -hmm. on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. in our senior center um, that is at the 15 Drew Avenue here in Holland Falls. So that's a good news story. So tomorrow being the first day, the center will be open as early as 10 a.m. for those who want to go down. Um, but the bingo actually starts at 11 a.m. Additionally, the Highlanders have a trip scheduled. And when I say trip, I mean bus trip. And that bus is going to a place called Villa Roma Resort. That will depart at 8 a.m. this Wednesday from Sacred Heart Church there on Main Street and it will return at 5 p.m. at the same location. For $60 round trip, you get additionally a lunch with that, and it appears that it's going to be a good trip, and there are still available seats for anybody interested in attending uh, this bus trip. Point of contact is, uh, what's Miss Ann's last name? Yes. Hess, Ms. Ann Hess is the point of contact for that. And anybody who can't reach her can reach Robert uh, Quintavilla, is it how you pronounce it? I'm not sure how to say it, it's the same. Robert Q. Uh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Or me, for that matter, and I'll, I'll track them down for you. Additionally, we have uh, the Town of Highlands Recreation will have its first of four senior sessions at the Senior Center. Wednesday, 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m., November 30th. That's this Wednesday coming up. And so that's an opportunity for seniors to come out and discuss programs that they'd like to see happening or any other support that they need from the town's perspective. Um, point of contact for that would be either A, the recreation director, or B, the senior recreation director, which uh, would be the center and MEMS in the center. Also, December 2nd, Department of Motor Vehicles from Goshen, uh, which is the county Department of Motor Vehicles, will be at the senior center to discuss mandatory enhanced licenses. That's from 1 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. And that's a discussion for the seniors there on December 2nd. Got a couple other big events coming up in the community. One is the Highlands Holiday Hop. The Highlands Holiday Hop, which is December 3rd, is a day of holiday activities, shopping more in the town of Highlands. Events include best Christmas cookie contest, photos with Santa Claus, kids activities, tree lighting, and live music. And then on the 17th, 
is the uh, Holiday Parade, first annual Holiday Parade, Saturday, December 17th at 6 p.m. And uh, parade groups, floats, and a whole bunch of other stuff right there on Main Street. So that looks like another fun event. Um, and then finally, I want to say congratulations to the James I. O'Neill football team for winning the semifinals last Saturday and moving on to the finals, which is at Syracuse, New York, in the big stadium. I plan on being in the building. Just to represent. Uh, but that's a huge deal. All right? I played football there at O'Neill, probably some others here. And uh, I think that's the first time in history they made it to the state. Uh, that's right. I'm embarrassed to say because I played too. But these guys, I'm, they're champions. These guys are heroes. They, are, they can play some ball. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to bring the trophy home. And congrats to those young men uh, who participated. Because uh, they not only won, they won pretty decisively. Yeah, sure did. They came back very decisively in the game. Hey, look, we won. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not saying that as a bad thing. I'm saying that as a good thing. Man. That just shows resilience. Yeah, wow, well, it sure does. <laughs> now, we got a lot of good kids. I guess a lot of them <clears throat> played for many years together, like from Pee Wee's all the way up to high school. Yeah. And I have to say that Thomas uh, on the team is one of my employees. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. And he's also the son of our dog control officer, Kathy. Kathy. Yeah. She was telling me she can't uh, groom my dog this weekend because she has to go to her son's championship football game. But I didn't know that. <laughs> there you go. Okay, uh, Councilman D. Witt. Thank you, Mr. Lizzie. Uh, <clears throat> Ty, thanks for all the good news. That was a lot of good, a lot of good news. Um, I'm going to stick with all the numbers you threw out earlier. The other thing that we got to bring to the attention to the town and village is, unfortunately, our tipping uh, fees are going up from $108 a ton to $124 a ton. So what that means is, obviously, everything's getting more expensive. So in the meantime, just um, throw out what you need. Just, you know, be careful, you know, the, the more we put to the curb to, for our uh, sanitation to pick up, it just it costs us money. So just to keep that in mind. Um, and recycling, again, the more we can uh, recycle things that can be recycled. There's a recycling app here in the town. If you have any questions, basically paper, cans, etc. We keep it out one recycling one, keep the recycling out of the, uh, the main garbage. It just helps save costs. Um, and the only other good note, I just want to say congratulations and thanks to Lori Tautel and with the help of Aaron Falk and Charlene Yell managed to hand out, I think, 35 turkeys. Lori got, uh, they handed them out to people in the community uh, just before Thanksgiving. And again, just another one of many things that, you know, little things that come and help people out. And there are a lot of grateful people. I know I... Uh, you know, <clears throat> delivered a turkey to somebody and it just couldn't have been more grateful to, to receive it. And it's just a nice thing that people work hard in the community doing things for people. Uh, that's all I have. Thank you. Councilman Yeager, I realize that you don't have the liaison yet, but I'd like to give you the uh, liaison assignments for the rest of 2022. Uh, and then in January, we have a reorganization meeting I'll get together with all the councilmen to see if you're satisfied with what you have now or you want to switch around and mm -hmm. do a thing. So anyway, I, I'd like you to take care of recreation. Where I'm sure you're used to working with Aaron. And, yep. uh, and, and Councilman DeWitt what was the uh, liaison, but he's going to give that up to, to you. Uh, the ambulance corps, that was mine. Mm -hmm. uh, the ambulance corps has a meeting first Tuesday of the month. First Tuesday of the month uh, at the ambulance hall at what time? Seven. Seven. Uh, you, you don't have to like to make every meeting and you don't have to stay for the whole meeting. Actually, they feel uncomfortable when you're there. So 
Uh, but, but just go and see what they have to say, see what they want you to bring back to us. Sure. And that's the whole idea that, of the liaison is, is a, a, a tie between what, whoever you're representing and the town board. Uh, and finally, planning board. Mr. Sullivan reluctantly is giving that up to, to you. Uh, th their meetings are when? Third Thursday. So in December, Third it'll Wednesday. be on December 15th here at 7 o'clock. Um, and I'll bring up to speed on that. Okay. Do you have anything to, to say? Not at the moment. Um, just that it's uh, you know it's interesting to see how things are run, and um, looking forward to that, and to help out where I can, and and be part of our small community that uh, can help out and make it flourish. So um, there's a lot I see that that could be done, and um, but all in time. I don't want to you know throw it all in my first uh, you know couple of meetings that I'm here. Sure. So, yeah. And uh, we'll see how it goes from from here. Now, as I mentioned to you, I, I'm normally in the town hall. You can almost count on me being here between 8 and 10. Then it depends on uh, what, what I have to do during the day. Um, just so you know, I have, since you, you work like 8 to 5 or 7 to 5, whatever it is, I have n no problem with you stopping by the restaurant to, to bring up something, to talk about something. I have no problem at all. With it. Except Wednesday nights, I might have a problem there. But uh, other than that, just, just come on down to the restaurant. Okay. Uh, okay. Councilman DeWitt has no problem. Councilman uh, Sullivan doesn't. Councilman King doesn't. So. Sounds good to me. You're welcome. Yeah. And, and I'm not talking as a customer. I'm just talking to oh, Bob. I got a problem with this. Doesn't hurt. So on. Yeah. Okay. There's usually a beer in my hand when the conversation's <laughs> going down. <laughs> Supervisor. I, I, I will give you one thing. Uh, uh, Charlene Yale has a donation of a uh, blue spruce Christmas tree mm -hmm. coming from the people that just bought the Garrison Inn. Uh, he's going to have it here for, I think, the one of the celebrations, Christmas celebrations. It's going to be in a big book or whatever they call that. Uh, she would like us to take the tree after that and plant it somewhere. Okay. So if, uh, she suggested the, uh, what you call it? Memorial the, Park? The, not Memorial Park, but the uh, 911 Park. Uh, in the town. We'd have to check with Doris to be sure she's okay with that. But uh, see if there's not a, if there's a spot down there. Patriot Garden? Yeah. It's Patriot yeah. Garden. Yeah. Dean's pretty familiar with that garden. Yeah, there's, there's room there. Yeah, that'll be nice. It's full yeah. sun, so. Yeah, we'll okay. Well. Yep. So, so we, uh, I'll have her get in touch with you, or, okay. or you can get in touch with her. We'll talk. This isn't until well, mid-December when they have all their festivities going. Right. <coughs> and the other thing I wanted to, it, since this is your 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 niche, to, mm -hmm. uh, down at my dock park, you've got the parking lot, mm -hmm. sewer plant. There, there's a, like a kind of a hill along the fence. Mm -hmm. I'd like to uh, get trees planted all the way along there to, to screen the sewer plant from the parking lot, from the people using the, the Mine Dock Park. Gotcha. Um, if you could figure out what, need, what can be done there, uh, see if we can find someone to do it. Uh, I, I have uh, probably enough money uh, for that uh, in, in a, an account. Uh, and, and, then, and then, depending on how much it comes up with, we may, we have to go out to either a bid or at least get three quotes. Uh, and I'm going to give you our, our purchasing policy too, so that, that you kind of know what goes on with that by purchasing. Okay. That'll be good. Any, anything else? Uh, good. I have one out of buy. That was, I wrote a note here, and, and I didn't remember the note until I looked in the back. I wanted to say to uh, Mr. Falk, uh, publicly doing a great job down there. Uh, I talked to some of the folks, uh, even though I'm not the liaison, but I just talked to them anyway, and found out that they are very happy in terms of, uh, what, what I want to call it, the morale. Like, uh, I think one of the concerns we <coughs> had in the transition period was how the morale was going to be. 
and then the follow-up I'm giving is that it appears that his presence has stabilized everything and folks can respect his expertise and apparently his style of leadership is such that he solicits uh, feedback from them. So I just want to pass that along, uh, say great job and, and keep Thank up you. the great work. I appreciate it. And, and that's a good point. Now, you mentioned you weren't, you're not the liaison. But that doesn't mean hands off. <laughs> right. Uh, so everybody can put their hands in, into everything else. Uh, Chief, you have anything for us? Nothing. No, nothing? I thought that there was something interesting happened this evening. Well, there were several interesting things happening. Oh, uh, okay. Just, just checking. Which okay. one? Uh, Kelly, you have anything? Uh, no, you covered everything. And Gary, this would be probably a good time to talk about what you talked to me today about, about the uh, pole barn money and what you'd like to use it for. Well, I talked to Kelly, we need to do a little research on whether we can transfer the funds, you know, and then I'll come and do a presentation for the whole board. Okay. Why, why more All right, good, good. Next meeting, it was a couple of weeks ago. Perfect, good. Oh, good. Do you have anything? No, nothing. For sure. <laughs> Except she's waiting on me for data. <laughs> okay. Uh, not next meeting. The following meeting, December the 26th. That's actually a holiday, day after Christmas. Uh, what, what I'm going to suggest, and we'll square it away at the next meeting, is we change that meeting to the 27th, which is a Tuesday night. And if necessary, uh, if we can do without the meeting uh, uh, in that last one in December, uh, we'll, we'll see if we can do that. So that would be a suggestion which I'll bring up at our, our, our next meeting. Okay, not on your uh, agenda, but I'm very happy that we got this cemetery committee going. Uh, we had a little catalyst uh, to cause it, but the, the cemetery committee is, is meeting on a regular basis. We have an excellent chairman, and they went over the rules and regulations and uh, are, are recommending a number of changes. Uh, I think the town board has gotten this, and is there any uh, question on it? No. no? Everything sounds good? All right, and uh, the town board uh, adopted regulations in 1989 for the Eagle Valley Cemetery, which covers all our cemeteries. The town cemetery committee has been meeting to review the regulations and re recommended certain changes with regards to monuments, landscaping, interment, and internment, and cremings. Um, the changes that under the monument section, no monument shall exceed 84 inches in length on a double plot and 36 inches in length on a single plot. In the gardening and landscaping, planting is permitted in an area the length of the monument, but not to exceed a width of 12 inches with a landscape quality and graded border which does not interfere with the maintenance and mowing of the cemetery. The interment section, all interments must be made in a concrete grave liners or concrete vaults, except for cremains, if a suitable plan is approved by the town of Highlands and the highway superintendent. Under the interment section, six interments of cremated remains are allowed on a single grave. Any questions? I'll ask for a motion to approve the resolution. <coughs> motion. Second. Any questions again? Okay, okay then uh, roll call, please. Councilmember Sullivan? Aye. Councilmember King? Aye. Councilmember DeWitt? Aye. Councilmember Yeager? Aye. Supervisor Lipsy? Aye. I only have an observation. I don't know if the sign up there has been changed yet or not, but that sign was not congruent with the previous regulations. 
the brown sign with the rules on it going in. I'm not sure if that has been looked at or not. Gary, do you know? Wait. How, how about the, Okay. How about having somebody remove the sign? Yeah. And uh, we'll get a new sign printed up, made up, if we need one at all. And do, do, do we hand out rules and regulations as people buy plots? I don't know what's been done in the past. But we yeah, we should. And I, we, we should. If we expect them to follow the rules, you want to tell them what they are. <coughs> All right. Okay, I, I would like to ask for a motion to go into uh, executive session to discuss police retro pay and uh, a donation that the uh, Recreation Department has received. Supervisor, excuse me, before you do that, all we have to approve <coughs> the selling of the dog and van. I thought we declared a surplus and I think Gary is going to put it on the oh we're not selling it to the person who wanted it we're going to put it on the auction list okay thank you <laughs> okay thank you for bringing it up Bob did, before we go into exactly the only other thing I don't want to see anybody's thunder do you want to talk about that DOT email at all for the pulp open bridge or uh yeah um if, if you're uncomfortable with it, I didn't know. No, I'm not uncomfortable. As a matter of fact, I, I, I've been giving the information out as best I can. Uh, I got a letter from DOT saying that the uh, Popal Open Bridge will be open to uh, all four lanes uh, the first week of December. And it'll be closed again in the spring. So, uh, so for the first week of December, they're going to open up all the lanes. Uh, I'll make one comment on something I, I didn't like. Um, they, they have, it looks like a, a, a building that might be a workshop or something like that on the north end of it. And they have all of these um, mirrors. side view mirrors hanging off of that. That's like trophies. I, I mean, that, that's wrong. That's absolutely wrong. I would agree wrong. with that. That's wrong. I would agree with that. So uh, once they clear out of there, I'm going to make sure that... Uh, there are certain goes. Facebook sites where the speculation is spectacular over that bridge. So in early December, it's pretty much etched in stone that you'll have all four lanes until the spring. Mm -hmm. That's where it's at. Right. Anything else? I'll ask mm -hmm. for a motion to is go into executive... What, is it? I'm sorry. As, as a resident, is it safe? If they're closing in in the spring, how is it safe all of a sudden for us to drive on it? Good question. Thank you. Good question. Maybe uh, our... Uh, I don't know if I dare speculate. I sent everybody pictures of what it looks like underneath, yeah. but I, I'm not going to speculate on it. Yeah. I don't have an answer, obviously. I don't have an answer. But again, a motion to go into uh, executive session. Motion to go into executive session. Second. All in favor? Aye. We will not be coming back. Uh, to the